Hey, happy Mother's Day. Hey, listen, we thought today on Mother's Day that a special treat for you guys would be to get to know Stephen Gibbs a little bit more. And what better way to get to know our pastor than to talk to his very own mother while Stephen's out of town. So come on in, let's go check it out. So we're here right now with Nancy, Stephen Gibbs' mom, and uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about Stephen this morning. So, uh, so Nancy, can you tell us where and you know when Stephen was born? Give us a little bit idea of, of who, who the man is. Uh, Stephen was born August 2nd, uh, 1967, in Forest, Mississippi. Uh, wasn't exactly the boondocks, but as he says, you could see it from the front porch. <laughs> How about Stephen kind of in his school age years? Was there anything, any most embarrassing moments? In high school, it, it, the most embarrassing moment for me was when he got his ear pierced. So, so you said Stephen had an earring at one time. Mm -hmm. Does he have any tattoos that we well, need to know about? Anything? If, if I tell you, I have to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a rumor that's kind of floating around that um, Stephen was a cheerleader in his former life. <laughs> Did he... Well, he liked when he got to college. He, he, he was. So pom-poms and all? Pom-poms or... and all, lifting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Afro, what what else do cheerleaders do? <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never been one. <laughs> Stephen and Debbie have a house full of kids. They've got mm -hmm. four kids, just a couple more, and they'll have a football team. <laughs> so, um, do you, do you, uh, would you like any more grandkids? Oh, they're always like grandchildren. Always, uh, always wants more. But this is a question for Debbie and Stephen, okay. not for me. <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> Debbie, or for Debbie. You know? All right. <laughs> Stephen obviously turned out well. You did a great job raising him. Do you have any advice um, to any other young mothers out there in raising their kids? The only advice I would say is stay committed yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Saturate that, that young one with prayer and pray now for his future and make sure he's in the Word or she's in the Word mm. uh, because it was nothing that I did. It was all God. That's great advice. But now to really get to know a man, we gotta check out the master bedroom. You know, the shower, the bed, does he fold his underwear? So come on, let's go check it out. Um, I don't know if you need to be going up there. It will be okay. Uh, yep, he's a folder. That works great. This is nice and tingly. He must use a two-in-one conditioner. Oh, yeah. Well, Nancy, thank you so much for spending uh, the day with well, us and letting us well. know a little I bit more about I promised Steve that I wouldn't tell anything that was uh, a big secret. I also told him I wouldn't take my teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll turn the you, camera you off. You can turn the camera off. <laughs>